it just, it sucked. It was the worst day of my life. I was just wondering, like, how much has my life been cut off? When am I going to die? Am I going to die when I'm 30 now, instead of, like, a normal old age? To actually see your own child be diagnosed with that disease and the road ahead for him. And, you know, all the things that he has to do and learn, and you can't protect him for the rest of his life, even though you want to. I work with people with end-stage uh, organ failure, end-stage complications from uh, diabetes, and it's every day that I see it. It's a very challenging condition. It means checking your blood sugars, which is a, a finger prick, several times a day. It means multiple insulin injections per day. Well, unfortunately, many of these patients will still ultimately develop the complications of diabetes. Oftentimes, uh, their kidneys have failed, or their vision is lost, or they might have lost uh, a limb. So it's a devastating disease. His restrictions are such that he doesn't have any, any freedom when it comes to just sort of living your life. When I go to the mall, you have to know all of the carbohydrate counts. It's like, how, much, how many carbs are there in a foot-long meatball sub? Most people wouldn't even would never think of that. I know, it's 120. Every single thing that happens to him, he has the disease itself sitting on his shoulders. Without insulin, they will die within a short period of time. So once somebody has type 1 diabetes, they're committed to insulin therapy lifelong. It's a really taxing, constant job that you never get a break from. You don't get weekends off. You don't get paid. You actually have to pay for it, and it's for the rest of your life, and you can't quit. He's, he's my son, and I worry about him, and I'm worried about I'm worried about him for the rest of his life. I mean, you do that with your children anyway, but now I think I'm extra worried about him. There are not many options to rid them of insulin. One of the main options is organ transplantation. We can take a pancreas from a deceased donor and transplant them into a patient with type 1 diabetes. And the other method is by isolating the islet cells within the pancreas and transplanting them as a cellular graft into a patient. This is an option for a very small percentage of patients. That's limited by the, the availability of pancreases uh, because they come from deceased donors. And the other limitation is the, the need for immunosuppressive therapy to prevent rejection. Currently, it's less than 1% will ever receive this treatment. Clearly, deceased donors are not the answer for type 1 diabetes. One of the very exciting areas in diabetes research is trying to produce the insulin-making cells, the islet cells, from stem cells. There's beautiful work by Dr. Christina Nostro and many others, including my lab, where we are finding ways to engineer these cells. Right now, we are able to generate uh, cells that produce insulin in the lab. We have a specific cells that will turn green every time it produces insulin. Those cells are called islet cells, and what she's doing is actually taking stem cells and coaxing them to become insulin-producing islet cells. The work that Dr. Nostro is doing is the future, and so uh, we're collaborating with her. We believe that within a few years, we'll be ready to start clinical trials with these cells. And the next step will be generating a way to transplant them into the patients and protect them from being destroyed again uh, by the body. That would be the ultimate cure and that would be the ultimate discovery. 
it would probably have the same impact as Banting's discovery of insulin. The discovery of insulin was made here almost 100 years ago, and so it's only fitting that the next big breakthrough in diabetes care be made here. It would be fantastic if we could actually build on that legacy and have a first clinical trial la launched here uh, using the cells that we make in the lab to treat type 1. I will definitely be the guinea pig. <laughs> we have a very large pancreas transplant program and the goal of this research is to put that program out of business. Put me out of work. I'd be happy. <laughs> Hopefully it impacts me soon. Um, it's exciting. If I could take my child away from diabetes, it would be, I would, I would be done. I would be, I would be okay. I wouldn't be here without philanthropy. Research uh, is incredibly expensive. Um, it's very resource intense. Without generous support from our donors, we would not be able to do the research that we do here. We wouldn't be able to accomplish the things that we want to do. I'm passionate about my work. What we do in the lab can change lives, and I think this is uh, extraordinary. I think that our researchers here at Toronto General uh, can really find a cure. And I hope that donors can find it in their hearts to help me and my family and my family of patients and, uh, and my, my son say goodbye to diabetes for the rest of his life.